Previously on the 32 team bracket, dealers need to move to the passing game with Mason Rudolph. They have to trust their quarterback here. Running the game. Mason Rudolph with plenty of time. Airs the ball deep for a wide open. Is that Juju? Is not Juju. He is running. He has gone the distance. That is game. Game winner. Johnson. And Patrick Mahomes snaps the ball. Sends one deep. One handy grabbed by Tyreek Hill. And oh my goodness. Chiefs going crazy. So it doesn't convert this here. They might have to punt the ball away and give the Browns a chance. Deshaun Watson, here comes the snap. Looking for a short pass, and he gets DeAndre Hopkins up to the field goal line. He's still running. He broke the tackle. Touchdown, Texans. DeAndre Hopkins broke the tackle. 52 yards. Let's talk about the Saints real quick, which cannot catch a break, which in the first episode they lost to the Falcons in the first round. Now looking to lose to the Giants. However, let's see if they get a miracle. Oh, oh, no way. It's caught. Oh, no way. Are you? I, I speak of the devil. I'm just talking about how the Saints are going to lose. And then the ball is just knocked into the hands of Ken. And just Warner Smith and walks into the end zone. As the Saints win it in a miracle. Ladies and gentlemen, it is back. And here we are back in Madden and finally, the long-awaited series is back. The third edition of the 32 NFL team bracket. Pretty self-explanatory. 32 teams are making it to the bracket, of course. All 32 NFL teams, 16 AFC teams, 16 NFC, NFC teams. They play together to meet in the 32 NFL team Super Bowl. Now, I don't want to stall any more time because, as we know, these things can get up to a half an hour to an hour long. So, with that being said, and let's get right to the bracket. So, okay, I have the bracket pulled up right now, and there's one thing I have to say before I run through the games, and then we get started with the games. The seeding is done a little bit different. It is based on your positioning on the end of the season, where you place the end of the season. So, let's say, for example, the number six Titans. They went into the 2019 playoffs as the number six seed. However, they lost in the AFC Championship. Since of that, they are the second team to lose in the AFC. Now means they're the second AFC seed. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, you can see the Patriots, the Ravens, uh, even the Saints. The Saints, which were the number three seed, but since they lost first in the NFC, they fell all the way down to the sixth seed. Every team below 10, however, stayed the same because they never made the playoffs. They were just stuck at where they're at. The teams above six on each conference, they're a little bit different. So with that being said, some matchups are the same because of that. However, a lot of them are different. So let's go down the matchups now. In the AFC, the Chiefs versus Bengals, the Broncos, Raiders, Patriots, Jaguars, Ravens, Browns, Bills, Jets, Texans, Chargers, Steelers, Colts, and Titans, Dolphins. Into the NFC, 49ers, Redskins, Bears, Cowboys, Eagles, Cardinals, Vikings, Panthers, Saints, Buccaneers, Seahawks, Giants, Rams, Falcons, and the Packers and Lions. So there's the 32 teams placed in their correct positioning. Let's start with the AFC Chiefs, Bengals. Let's go. Well, all I can say is at least the Bengals tried. We all know they were not going to win this game versus the defending Super Bowl champions, Patrick Mahomes, and the Chiefs move on versus the Bengals 35 to 14. On to the next game. Number 8 Broncos, number 9 Raiders. Well, this one, it was a shootout. Both teams went back and forth, but one team couldn't hang on from the knee of Derek Carr. 35-28 to 28 was the final score. The Raiders are moving on. This is one of the matchups that was previously in the last episode. Do not remember who won it, but in this case, the Raiders are moving on to play their division rival, the Chiefs. They just got done with the Broncos. Can they do it against the Chiefs? Let's move on. Well, it's safe to say the Jaguars couldn't keep up with the high offense Patriots, or more like high defense Patriots, as Tom Brady and the Patriots will get past the Jaguars, and I do not know the final score. Tom Brady with 312 yards, 3 touchdowns, 67% completion rate as the final score for this game is going to be 33-23. to They just couldn't hang on from the offense Patriots, and the Patriots are moving on as the 5 seed. Let's go. 
Okay, we are in Baltimore. The Browns are up by three. I'm not too sure what's going to happen here. It looks like we might see overtime, considering the Ravens are just letting this one click. They're going for a play. The Browns get a stop here. Let's see. Lamar Jackson looking for a pass. Lamar Jackson finds a pass in the back of the end zone. Touchdown! Ravens take the lead with little under 30 seconds left. 38 to 35, 19 seconds left. Toe tapping in the back of the end zone. And the lead for the Cleveland Browns is no more as Lamar Jackson. Call me in clutch when it matters most. Let's see if the Browns can respond. Okay, the Browns are backed up really, really far into their own territory around the 20 or 19 yard line. Down by four, of course, they need a touchdown. They have the timeouts, they just don't have the time. And Baker Mayfield, here he goes. They're looking for the pass, of course. Gets one off, flings this one. And this one is... It looked interesting. Is it picked? I think it was picked. I can't tell yet. I, I think it's Ravens ball. The Ravens come up with the interception. And that should do it. The Ravens win. I don't know if it was in, but I think... I see. Oh, he's in the toe, toe slider there. And the Ravens... Seal the last second pick and we'll win the game. Ravens win 39-35 and they're moving on to play the... I already forgot. Let's go. Okay, we're at New Era Field in Buffalo. Almost said Baltimore. The Jets and the Bills are in another close game. Phil is repping the red and white color rushes in the Jets. 30-yard line. And up the middle. Le'Veon Bell gets about nine, or not nine, <laughs> about three yards out of it. Third and one, timeout has been called. Hey, Sam Donald lining up behind the big center. Hands it off again, and they will, will they get it? I can't tell. Did he fight for the extra yard? I can't tell yet. Timeout has been called. We'll have to wait a second before I can see. It is fourth and inches. And are the Jets going to kick a field goal? I think they're going to kick a field goal. They have the field goal unit out there right now. Let's see what they light up to do. Yep, it's pretty smart, but of course, it can give the Bills an extra chance. So that's why there's a downside of kicking this field goal. Let's see if they make it first. And I believe they do make that one. So it's a 41-38 game with 41 seconds left. Do the Bills have enough time to at least get 30 points? Let's find out now. Okay, with 38 seconds left, the Bills finally get the ball. Time is ticking and they have no timeouts. They go for a short route out of bounds. It doesn't do much for them and it just takes some more time off the clock. The Bills, well, yeah, they need quite a few yards for this one. 37 is the target. Not really good considering you're on your own 20. And that's kind of a short target line too for a professional kicker. So it's not, too, not looking too good for the Bills. But who said it's over for them? Second and eight with 33 seconds left. Let's see what they do here. Two people in the backfield. Josh Allen looking to snap this one. Here he goes. Looking for a slant route. Throws this one. Gets the time he needs. Oh, it's completed all the way up to the 49-yard line. And the Bills were given a little bit of life in that one. Only six seconds of takedown. The Bills have a shot of not only winning this one, but sending this one to OT. What will they do? Let's find out now. That's the 50 now. So a few more yards to go to get comfortable for a field goal, of course. So we're sitting at around the 48 and a half yard line. Josh Allen backing up a couple yards. Looking to pass this one again. Complete! To the 20! Open space to the 10! Breaks the receiver. Touchdown! Easy enough for them. The Bills take the lead. So just a good route by Beasley. No other than Beasley. One of the best receivers on the Bills. Breaks through the Jets defense. Gets open space. Beats Jamal Adams, of course. <laughs> And gets the touchdown. And the Jets are now looking to respond. No upset yet. Can they do it? Most likely not. Alright, here comes the last play of the Jets. Down by four. Need the touchdown. Three Redmen rush. And he gets sacked in the final play of the game. And the Bills will win it. 45-41. to Easy done for the Bills. Final play by Beasley. Clutched it up. And the Bills are moving on. Let's go. And the Chargers get the first upset win here in the 32-team bracket. I don't know what their mindset was, but apparently it was to win by like 30-plus points. Phillip Rivers with 305 yards, 4 touchdowns. 
And the final score was 41 to 14 at NRG. No idea what the Texans were doing. No clue what the, how good the Chargers were playing. But the Chargers are moving on. I still have no idea why Andrew Locke is still in this game and playing. But other than that, the Colts are down by two and Heinz Stadium. Of course, they needed like 50 yards for a field goal with no timeouts with only 20 seconds left. Andrew Luck, yes, Andrew Luck, throws a completion on the toe tap, inbounds, first down. Got like 10 or 15 yards, that's to Hilton, and they're in business now. They need a few more yards, and of course, they can take a game-winning field goal. Can the Colts do it? Let's see. Oh, that was a beautiful toe tap. So the Colts are approaching midfield. Currently, they're probably about 10 yards away from it, but they have a chance. 14 seconds left. They're looking to air this one to Andrew Luck, and they have wasted as much time as possible as time is ticking, and he finds an open receiver. He breaks out of it, and there's no time left. The Colts will lose, things. The Colts will lose this game. Poor management by the Colts. But the Steelers will win 22-20, and the Steelers are moving on. And we're on to the final game in the AFC, the Titans versus Dolphins. Let's go. Okay, spoiler alert, the Dolphins have a chance. With only 15 seconds left, I believe they're in the red zone. They have one or two, or maybe even three plays left in them. Fitz Magic and the Dolphins, the 15 seed, can they do it? Versus the number two Titans, let's figure out now. Fitzpatrick drops back, Fitzpatrick turns around, Fitzpatrick finds a pass! It's in the end zone. Touchdown. The Dolphins take the lead. The Dolphins take the lead to Grant. Oh, well, what the hell? He just stepped right over him. Throws the ball into the in the audience. The Dolphins take a two-point lead. The extra point should make it three. And the Dolphins could walk away with an upset. The number 15 Dolphins over the number two Titans. Fits magic. We're going to see if they can do anything on the kickoff. Of course, the extra point up, but the kickoff. And then the Titans have one more play after that. Let's go to that. Extra point is good. Okay, as we saw just a few seconds ago, the Dolphins with Fitzmagic delivered the 10 second left touchdown. That's a real time waster as the Titans only have one more play now. Can the Dolphins do it? I think they will. Their chances are on their side. The Dolphins, the number 15 seed. I think this is the only second time this will happen where number 15 seed has beaten number 2 seed. I probably shouldn't be speaking so soon because if you watched last episode, you know what happens with Saints versus Giants. But let's just go and see what happens here. Anyways, the second team never do it. Can they be the second team never do it? Marietta running. And that's going to do it. The Dolphins beat the number 2 Titans and the number 15 Dolphins are moving on to conclude the AFC First round, unbelievable, 24-21 to 21 final score, and we're going to go straight into the NFC. That's crazy. Well, in the NFC side of the bracket, we start off with the number 16 Redskins and number 149ers, and obvious enough, the Redskins will lose this one. The 49ers winning, uh, not by a lot, actually. It was, it was a close game. 34, oh, never mind. <laughs> it's a decent score. 34-26, to 26, I thought they came close, but... Redskins just couldn't hang on. They actually did really good in the seventh. They actually had halftime lead, lead at halftime, and uh, didn't work out. So, 49ers move on. Of course, Redskins fall. Next game. And the Bears walk out of Soldier Field victorious. The Cowboys get eliminated in the first round again. And the Bears, under Mitch Trubisky, 288 yards and two touchdowns. I believe they win this one by two scores. The final score will end up being, after you watch some handshakes, 21 to 10, they just kept the Cowboys low the entire game, and the Bears are moving on to play the 49ers. Let's go. Well, the chances for the Cardinals are slim, but who said it's over? Kyler Murray, fourth and three, way back. Completes it, no, it's dropped, and the Eagles will take over and win this game. 27 to 21, as I'll just take one knee, and it's over. Eagles are moving on. And the Vikings just get absolutely smacked by, I believe, it's the... 12-seeded Panthers, I think. I don't know, but Christian McCaffrey had a field day just running all over him with 175 yards and two touchdowns with a long of 66 as the Panthers visiting Minneapolis win this one 38-14, only allowing the Vikings two scores. 
and the Panthers absolutely dominate the Vikings and are moving on to play the Eagles. Let's go. And we have a good game in Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Jameis Winston versus the Saints. The final offensive drive for the Buccaneers more than likely. He gets the time. He airs this one for 101. Throws it a little over the head. Jameis Winston with 250 yards and one touchdown. No picks. A surprise. But obviously that's what you got to watch out for now. No interceptions. As a 4th and 15. Wasn't even looking at that. They have to go 15 yards. Overthrows the receiver right there. Wasn't really the smartest player right there. And now they're looking at 15 yards of the gain. And if they do somehow manage to get those 15 yards, you got to be careful on time. As there is currently 45 seconds left on the clock as well. Jameis Winston could be the final play. Here's this one. Gets it complete. Up to the 53. Or not the 53. The 47 yard line. Oh my goodness. All the way up to Mike Evans. It just slides through the defense of the Saints. And the Buccaneers are in business. They do need a touchdown. Timeout. Okay, so a little past half field. James Winston isolated all by himself. Here comes the big man. Gets it off in time. Oh! Throws it into the hands of Lattimore, but it's out of bounds. So the Buccaneers barely escaping a sack and a pick in the same play. Second and 10. 26 seconds left. Okay, repeat down for the Buccaneers and Jameis Winston with a halfback to his left. Looking for the pass, of course. Here they come. They couldn't get to him. He gets the first down. I think that is good when time is ticking. They call a timeout. 20 seconds left. Third and one. Okay, so third and one. Godwin was who got that last pass. Not Goodwin. Jameis Winston. Looking for the short gain. Here's this one. It's caught by Godwin. We were just talking about him. They got to get up and spike this one. Time is ticking. 12, 11, 10. Only 10 seconds left. They have to get a touchdown. They have one play. If they can get to the line quick enough. I don't think they can do it. They can't. The Saints hold on. The Buccaneers got so close. But time management killed them. And the Saints are moving on. From a, whew, a close one from the number 11 Buccaneers. Good game by both teams. And the Saints, of course, are on to the second round. And, uh oh you know what this means. The Giants. It's happening. Once again, it's happening. Deja Vu is circling. Eli Manning retired, but still there. And I don't know why Daniel Jones is not starting, but 365 yards and three touchdowns. If you don't know why I'm saying this, then maybe you should watch the first episode of the Giants beat the Seahawks by 10 in the rematch. Speaking of first episode, these two teams met in the first episode, and the Seahawks won it. Sorry to spoil that, but the Giants win the revenge rematch matchup. And now the Giants are going to old-fashioned glory. Here we go. <laughs> well, the Atlanta Falcons weren't even given a chance to breathe in this game as they just got absolutely plummeted, probably like 21 points. Jared Goff. Almost 300 yards and four touchdowns with a 71% completion rate. And the LA Rams beat the Atlanta Falcons with a final score of 34 to 10, only letting them score past halftime. So, one more game in the first round Packers versus Lions. Let's go. So, we conclude round one with a really close game, actually. Aaron Rodgers and the Packers beat the division rivals, the Lions, 20 to 17. They won't even won anyways, mainly because the Lions scored in the last play of the game. And that concludes round one. So, with that being said, let's hit the bracket results. So that concludes the first round of the 32-team bracket episode three. Of course, we're not even close to done yet. We just hit the Sweet 16. What are our matchups? Here we go. Chiefs versus Raiders. Patriots versus Ravens. Bills versus Chargers. And Steelers versus Dolphins. AFC. Into the NFC, we have 49ers, Bears, Eagles, Panthers, Saints, Giants, and Rams, Packers. And I just, I can't believe the score of this game. I, mean, I don't know how one team can lose so bad. Especially being the division rival, the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes, 300 yards, 3 touchdowns. But that wasn't really the main factor of this game. Overall, just the Chiefs offense in general dominating. Beating the Raiders. 35 to 3. Almost pitched the first shutout of the series. Got close, but all that matters is that they're moving on to the Elite Eight. Let's go. 
And another big win for an AFC team as this great matchup ends at one team beating the other team by a big number. The Ravens. Lamar Jackson passing four touchdowns with about an 80% completion rate. Low yards, but who? why does that matter? As the Ravens beat the Patriots. With a final score of 35-17. to The Patriots, not the same team they used to be. Not really successful in my simulations either. And simple enough, the Ravens will move on to play the Chiefs for a chance of final four spot. Let's go. Okay, we are back in New Era Field. This time it's in the second round or the Sweet 16, and we are tied at 34. The Bills are knocking on a door for a game-winning field goal, but they can go for more. Let's see what they do here. Josh Allen hands it off to him, guessing that Singletary, and he breaks through all the way up to the 20-yard line. Timeout is called, and from here should be a chip shot field goal to win the game. Okay, to send the Bills to the Elite Eight. Let's see if they can do it. Just a tiny chip shot. Kicks up. Short kick. No other than good, and the Bills are moving on to the Elite Eight. And that concludes that game. Let's move on. And just like real life, there's always that one team in each bracket that just does surprisingly well and upsets everyone. And that one team is the Miami Dolphins, the number 15 seed. Guess how much they won by. Let's see real quick right here. Um... 45 to 15. They won by 30 points to the Steelers. They started by beating the number two Titans, and now they've beaten the number 10 Steelers. And who's next? The number six Bills. Let's move on to the NFC. Crazy. And I'm just getting used to this at this point. It's basically normal for an upset to happen every other game now as the Chicago Bears are make their way into the Elite Eight, crowning over the number one seed on the NFC side of the bracket. The Chicago Bears, like I said, to the Elite Eight, winning the final score of 28-14. to 14. Why is it every time it's an upset, it's always like a big upset, you know? Kind of like the Virginia UMBC, but let's move on. Let's go. Well, this one ends in an overtime field goal win for the Eagles as they kicked the field goal up. I couldn't get it in time. And the Eagles end up winning 2017 in snowy Philadelphia. It's always sunny, they say. But not today, as the Eagles are moving on to play the Bears, I think. Yeah, the Bears in the Elite Eight. Let's go to the final two NFC matchups, and then we'll back for the Elite Eight. Well, last episode, we were in Mercedes-Benz. The unthinkable happened between these two teams. And this time, the chances of that happening again is even lower than it happening then. As the Saints are down by 10, they could get a touchdown out of this. He stays and he stays up. He's still up. That wastes a lot of time. Timeout is called. And I think the Giants should take this one. And the Giants doing what they did best in the first episode. They are just running through this bracket like it's theirs. And now, they're more than likely onto the Elite Eight. So, I'm going to go ahead and go through this game. The Giants should win this one. And we are going to move on. Let's watch this final play real quick. Let's see what they can do. 12 seconds left. Giants defense looking just to stop him from getting any more points if possible. Drew Brees throws it to the one yard line and that's going to be it. 38-28 final score and we're moving on. Giants complete another ups. For whatever reason, first of all, the Rams back to back wins over the Packers at Lambeau. But for whatever reason, the Packers just seem to not even try whatsoever every time they're at Lambeau at my simulations. I know I'm only triggered because I'm a Packers fan, but... Still, it's kind of crazy how they keep on losing. So are the Saints. The Saints do the same thing as the Packers. They always lose at home. Final score, 31-17. Snowy Lambeau closes out the night. And we also close out the Sweet 16. The Elite 8 is next. Let's go to the bracket results. Okay, so we just finished the Sweet 16. And oh my goodness, the upsets. They're everywhere at this point. There's no way we can stop them. They're just contagious. And moving on from that, into the Elite 8. The four teams from the AFC in the Elite 8. The Chiefs versus the Ravens, and the Bills versus the Dolphins. Really questionable matchup. Don't know how that happened, but moving on from that into the NFC. The Bears versus Eagles, and the Giants versus Rams. The Giants, again, like we said, is going to be another surprise team. The Dolphins, too. I haven't mentioned the Dolphins yet. The Dolphins are the highest remaining seed left at number 15, and they have a giant chance to make the Final Four playing the number 6 Bills. So, let's go and get right to the AFC, Chiefs versus Ravens. Let's go. Here we are in the Elite Eight first game, 34-34, overtime, third and goal for the Ravens. They need the touchdown, 
Of course, they can take a field goal, but they still have a chance. Lamar Jackson looks for a pass. He finds it. The Ravens win. The Ravens are going to the Final Four. For only this, their second time to make the Final Four. And this will be the first time the Chiefs will not be in the Final Four. The Ravens walk off touchdown in overtime. The Ravens will play the winner of the Bills and Dolphins to see who can make it to the 32 NFL Team Super Bowl. Let's go on to that now. No, you're not in a very long period of sleep paralysis. This is not your nightmares. This is real. The Miami Dolphins lining up just to flex, you know, just kick that extra field goal for a flex. Or will they not? Not to decide not to. 33-24 is the final score. But other than that, the Miami Dolphins are going to the final four. The only other team to ever do this at this seed or higher is the Giants in the first episode. The Miami Dolphins are playing the Baltimore Ravens in the AFC 32 NFL Team Championship. Let's go to the NFC. Let's see what happens there. This is getting crazy. Okay, for the chance to go to the Final Four, the Bears versus Eagles. The Bears currently need a miracle. They're down by five. It's fourth and 13. The Eagles need one more stop. And they will find their way back into the final four. So with 21 seconds left, like I said, fourth and 13, down by five. Let's see what the Bears can do. Mr. Bisky, lining from around the 24-yard line. You can see the first down marker just out of sight around there. Mr. Bisky gets sacked on their final play of offense. And the Eagles, with a clutch sack at the end, find their spot into the final four to play the winner of the Rams. And I forgot the other team, but we'll get right into that. Oh, it's the Rams and Giants. The Eagles will play the winner of the Rams and Giants. Let's find the last Final Four team. Here we go. And the Giants' second take at a Cinderella story run is going to sadly end here. The Giants only losing by three to the Rams. I think the final score is like 37-34. Jared Goff with a 330 yards, four touchdowns, and a 72% completion rate. The Rams beat the Giants. The final score... Of 34 to 31, three point game. Giants can close with Giants with an incredible four fourth quarter comeback almost. 21 points in the fourth quarter wasn't enough though. And the Rams punched their ticket to the final spot in the final four. So I don't want to make a whole nother clip just to say my bracket results would we'll do it right here. The bracket should be pulled up right now. And on the AFC, if I can remember, it's the number five Ravens versus the number, no, I think it's like the number four Ravens versus the number 15 Dolphins. Don't know how that happened, but that's the AFC Championship. And then over here in the NFC, we have the number 5 Eagles versus the number 10 Rams? Or number 7 Rams? I think it's the number 7 Rams. I'm sorry, I don't have the bracket pulled up, but it should show you right here. Let's go and get right into those games. And then, to the Super Bowl. Let's go! Okay, we've made our way to the AFC Championship game between the Dolphins and the Ravens. And the Dolphins have actually kept up with the Ravens, however... The Ravens are in the Dolphins' red zone with only 30 seconds left. They're in field goal range too. A timeout has been called by the Ravens. And let's see if the Ravens can close this out and make appearance in the third ever. Here comes a mouthful. 32-team Super Bowl. And here comes the kick. Kick is up. Can Tucker seal it for the Ravens? He can, and the Ravens are going to their first ever 32-team Super Bowl. The Dolphins fell to the Ravens. The Ravens are the AFC champions. They've gone through 15 teams. They need to go through the NFC winner now. I gotta give it to the Dolphins real quick. Wearing their away white the entire series, like I said, made it this far as the 15th seed. Pretty impressive. For the Ravens, they deserved it more. And their spot is now in the Super Bowl. Who will make it on the NFC tie side? Will it be the Eagles or the Rams? This is actually a rematch, I'm pretty sure. Let's find out now. And with just under 10 seconds left, I believe the Eagles will win the NFC Championship. The Rams not going to bother to get on the line and take another snap. Well, they could, but they needed 70 plus yards and they don't get it anyways. And the Eagles are the 32 team NFC Champions. And they are meeting to play the repeaters in the Super Bowl, or repeating AFC champions, the Ravens, in the 32-team Super Bowl. So, Ravens, Eagles, who will win the third 
ever. I'm not going to say it again. Let's go to that. And this one, as time is ticking down, the Ravens with a one-point lead over the Eagles. The Eagles have the ball. 15 seconds left. Of course, a miracle is their only chance to still win this Super Bowl as he just throws a quick short route. He gets a few yards, steps out of bounds, stops the clock. The Ravens, well, they're going to need a little bit more yards to get that game-winning field goal from Jake Elliott. They're currently sitting just about 5 yards before midfield, or more like 10 yards before midfield, just even worse. So the, at least the Eagles need at least 20 yards, most likely. Let's see, can the Eagles do it? And of course, they have to save a second. Has to be out of bounds. The Eagles, all or nothing in the final game ever. And this bracket sends a time. It's going to be the last play of the game. More than likely, it's hit up. And it's knocked out and nobody can get to it. And the Ravens win the third ever 32-team Super Bowl. Harborough, Jackson, Ingram, Thomas, everybody on the Ravens. It is their time because they finally win something. Of course. <laughs> well, that concludes the 32 brackets. The Ravens won. It's kind of cool to see a new team again. Uh, and this is the bracket on the screen right now. It was a pretty interesting bracket. The upsets were so weird in this bracket. It just kept on happening. And I don't really know how to explain the Dolphins and Giants. I really don't. And the, there was actually a big chance they met in the Super Bowl. What if the Dolphins and Giants made the Super Bowl? That would be weird. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, I know. I haven't been uploading Madden in a long time. That's my bad. I just haven't had time yet, and I'm, I got another one of these out. I've, I've been asked to do this many times, and I'm glad to get another one out. Uh, and the demand is pretty high, considering the last two have over a thousand views right now. So yeah, I'm, <laughs> I mean, why would I not make another one of these? Uh, so thank you guys for watching, and I will probably be returning this in March. And it's really close to March, mainly because March Madness, you know. Um, and I was also thinking, during this time... I might do a bracket challenge. It really depends. Uh, if I do do a bracket challenge, then I'll let you guys know, and I'll see how much people I can do to get it. And maybe I'll do a reward for winning it. I don't know. But that will come March. So now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys.